Well, a fire temporarily shuts down a popular old school hot dog joint in the far north suburbs. The Dog and Suds in Gray's Lake is closed indefinitely due to fire and smoke damage. WGN's Jewel Hillary has details. Hi, Jackie and Tamon. This 1950s style eatery has been here in Gray's Lake since the 60s. It's one of those spots where you can pull up and eat in your car. And apparently it is pretty popular because since we've been out here, we've seen a number of people come into this parking lot wondering why the restaurant is closed. Well, we drove up here and then we just got on the road and they were like, uh oh, something happened here. The Dog and Suds on Center Street in Grays Lake is closed until further notice after a fire broke out around 345 Saturday morning. The windows of the popular hot dog and burger joint are now smoke stained from the blaze. Disappointed by the news, Chuck Ryan was hoping to grab a bite here for his birthday. I would have gotten two burgers and the root beer. It's neat to have them bring it to you. You know, you don't you don't see that too much anymore. The drive in restaurant chain is known for its hot dogs, burgers and root beer. Chuck says he has fond memories going to a dog and suds in the south suburbs. The place down in home and Flossmore closed out about 20 years ago. So this is as far as we know, maybe the last vestige of dog and suds. According to the Grays Lake Fire Department, the fire started in the back of the business and caused about one hundred twenty thousand dollars worth of damage. They say the Gurney and Round Lake Fire Department helped extinguish the blaze. Thankfully, no one was hurt, and the popular drive-in eatery is expected to reopen, hopefully sooner than later, for customers like Chuck, craving a nostalgic fast food meal. Well, I think we got a fallback. We're going to have to decide what to do here. It won't be as good as Dog and Sons, but I'm sure it'll be good. So again, this dog and suds in Gray's Lake will reopen. However, the timeline on when it will reopen is unknown right now. According to the Gray's Lake Fire Department, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Reporting in Gray's Lake, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.